Now we are going to take a new topic that is interconversion of states of matter. As I told you in a previous lecture that matter exists in three states that is solid, liquid and gas. And it will be, uh, you will be surprised to know that these states can be interconverted from one state to another state. And I illustrate an example for you. See we have ice. Ice is, a form, ice is uh, obviously a water, but which form? The solid form. And we also get water. Water is again a form that is liquid form. And we also get, get a water vapor that represent the gaseous form. So that means we know, see water at room temperature it occurs at liquid. But in freezer when you keep it, it occurs at ice. And when, uh, at, uh, when you boil it, it occurs as vapor. So that means the water ex can exist in three states. Now how, how come the water exists in three states? So that means this show that these states are interconvertible. These states can be interconverted from one state to another state. So how they can be interconverted now? Look, we can convert solid to liquid or liquid to gas or gas to liquid or uh, this thing liquid to solid by altering certain conditions. That is by altering the condition of temperature and pressure. By doing so, we can interconvert these states. So, uh, first of all, I would like to, you to know the phenomena, the name given to the phenomena that is the conversions, that is when we convert solid to liquid, it is called as melting. And it occurs at particular temperature that is melting point. And the conversion of liquid to gas is vaporization. It occurs at boiling point. Repeat, I am repeating it for you. See, conversion of solid to liquid, the phenomena is called as melting. The temperature at which solid get converted into liquid is called as melting. We, we need to increase the temperature if we wish to convert solid to liquid. So that means this melting occur on heating. Similarly, if we wish to convert liquid to gas, the phenomena is vaporization. The temperature at which the liquid get converted into the vapor is called as boiling point. And again, it occurs on rising temperature that is on heating. Now, taking into, if uh, now I am, I want you to know that how it can be explained on the basis of kinetic theory of matter. We are taking the conversions only solid to liquid and liquid to gas. So see, we are considering the first phenomena that is the conversion of solid to liquid. Obviously, when the states are changing, so that means there is a change in on the particle arrangement also. So, I want that you should know that how, how that change is carried and what, what actually is happening that solid gets converted into the liquid. So, see, in solid, particles are arranged in this order. That means they are closely packed. I am again briefing the properties of solid that is they have they are closely packed their space is too low intermolecular space force is very strong and they somehow possess kinetic energy maybe because as they possess kinetic energy is little but still they possess some kinetic energy and they also possess potential energy due to interaction between the particles. So these are the properties which, in, which already a solid has. Now what happens that what happens actually that on heating it changes into liquid that what what change is occurring in it we are going to study that see now I am heating it when we heat it we are rising the temperature so what happens that these particle gain the energy these particle gains gains the energy then as a result what happens when they gain the energy their kinetic energy increase obviously so if the kinetic energy will increase that means they will now start moving more faster and we will when they will move start moving more faster that means they will move far away from each other and when they will move far away that means these spaces will these spaces these spaces will increase and when they will move far away from each other, when the space will increase, it will lead to decrease in the intramolecular forces. And we know 
liquid correspond to the state when the particles are far intramolecular space exist more than solid but still exist intramolecular force low it exists but lower than the solid so if when we are heating it they are gaining energy they are moving the space is increasing force is decreasing that means it now change into this kind of structure and we know this structure correspond to the liquid state so this is how the solid get converted into the liquid on heating i'm again repeating it for you we are supplying heat they are picking up that energy due to which the kinetic energy increase that means moving faster far away space increase force decrease and they get converted into the liquid state so this is how the solid get converted into liquid on heating this is the explanation based on kinetic theory of matter that is the conversion of solid to liquid similarly when liquid is converted into gas so the phenomena is called as i have told you a phenomena is vaporization corresponding to the temperature that is boiling point the same thing is happening at the same level see in liquid particles are like this little far from each other there is a space less force these are the properties which a liquid already exhibit now when we are heating it they are in gaining that energy due to which the same the kinetic energy is increasing they are moving far away the space is increasing force is decreasing and they get converted other into the gas so this is how the same phenomena that is how on heating solid can be converted into liquid or how on heating liquid can be converted into the gas so on the basis of kinetic theory of matter we can explain by just showing that how they are gaining energy how they are moving far how the space is getting affected how the force is getting affected and how states are converting from one to another now taking into an exam taking taking into uh, this thing consideration that is how the states are converted vice versa that means liquid to solid see now we wish to convert these states vice versa so taking into account liquid to solid so uh, when we want to convert this thing uh, gas to liquid we have to cool it that means by lowering the temperature similarly when we wish to convert liquid to solid again we have to cool it by rising the temperature we convert solid to liquid liquid to gas but by decreasing the temperature that is by cooling we convert gas to liquid or liquid to solid so we are now taking an example of the reverse that is liquid to solid the conversion of liquid to solid is called as freezing also called as solidification now and the temperature at which it occurs is freezing point the temperature at which liquid gets converted into solid is called as freezing point now how it can be explained on the basis of particle matter on the basis of kinetic theory of matter same as we did in case of solid to liquid the reverse happens for it see in liquid particles are like that there is a space less force as i have told you the all properties now we are cooling it when we are cooling it that means energy is lowered now when the energy is lowered that means they the motion is somehow ceasing means motion is decreasing when the motion is decreasing that means intramolecular space is again decreasing when the space is decreasing they come closer to each other that means intramolecular force is increasing and when these all properties happen that happens in state of solid where particles are closely related closely packed less intramolecular space more force so this is how the liquid gets converted into the solid similarly it happens for the conversion of gas to liquid same that that is i don't think that i need to make a uh, diagram again for you but still i'm uh, making you understand the concept theoretically see ga in gas molecules particles are far apart we are they are losing heat we are low, uh, cooling it so that means they are releasing heat when they are releasing heat then what happened motion ceases 
kinetic energy decrease so obviously the motion cease when the motion cease the space increase uh, space decrease and the force increase and it get converted into the state that is the liquid state so this is how the states are interconverted from one to the another you will be surprised to know that there is a phenomena in which we can directly convert solid into gas by skipping the liquid state I repeat we have the phenomena in which we can convert solid directly into the directly into the gaseous state skip by skipping the state liquid and and when this gas is cooled this solid get converted into gas directly on again on heating whenever we proceed in the uh, this thing in a straight line that is solid to liquid liquid to gas it happens on heating and when we pr this thing proceed in the reverse it happens by cooling so always keep in mind solid to liquid liquid to gas by heating and opposite by cooling so see the phenomena i was uh, telling you that we have a phenomena in which solid can be directly converted into the gas again same on heating keep in mind that it occurs by heating and and when this gas is cooled it again change into the state that is solid so that phenomena is called as sublimation this is an important phenomena so what is sublimation it is a process in which the solid directly convert into the gaseous state and how by heating and this gaseous state on cooling can again form the solid state there are the special names which are given given to these states see the gaseous state which is formed is called as sublime and when on cooling it again forms solid state it that solid state is being given a name sublimate so sublimation consists of sublime and sublimate Sublime is the gaseous state. Sublimate is the solid state. It uh, solid to gas by heating, gas to solid by cooling. Sublime and sublimate. Now the question comes: Can all solid can directly form the gaseous state? Can any solid state, any solid on heating, can skip the liquid state and can form gaseous state? So the answer is no. Only few solids are there which can directly uh, on heating can form the gaseous state. Now the question arises in the mind that what is special property in that solid that they can directly form the gaseous state and few solids can't. So what is the reason behind? See, look at the board. I am explaining you. These solids actually have the force of attraction not so strong. It is strong but not so strong. So what happens when you heat them? They gain the heat and they are able to overcome their force of attraction. They are able to overcome their force of attraction and escape forming the gaseous phase. So this is the reason that they can overcome their force of attraction. See, when we heat the solid, it gets it uh, the force of attraction decrease. But what happens in this case? They overcome the force of attraction and just leaving behind the other molecule, uh, other atoms or molecules, and getting converted into the gaseous phase. So this is how the sublimation take place. We have few examples. You must have seen your mama keeping a uh, white balls in the uh, bo um, this thing along with the woolen clothes. And after few days or months, when you open your bed or see the box, there are no balls found. You know what? What exactly that balls are? They are naphthalene balls. They are those white balls are naphthalene balls. Uh, you know why your mother keep those balls with woolen clothes? Yeah, it, they keep these balls with woolen clothes to prevent those woolen clothes from moth and all, so that they are not attacked by those silver fishes and all like that. So, what happens to this naphthalene ball? Our question is this: What happens to the naphthalene ball? Where does this ball goes? Actually, this ball shows sublimation. When you keep that ball, it start uh, forming the gaseous state. So, it just converted that solid ball gets converted into the gaseous. Face and when you open that box, it gets you. Are, you are not able to see that it vanished. So this is how the sublimation take place. And and one more question I would like to discuss with you. It is beyond your slavers, but still I want that you should know what actually is. See, 
uh, when we are converting solid to liquid we are heating and similarly when we are converting liquid to solid we are cooling similarly when we are converting liquid to gas we are heating when we are converting gas to liquid we are cooling so that means what there is a special name here what is that heat the heating or cooling uh, rising the temperature or decreasing the temperature so that the heat which is involved in changing the state is being given a special name and that name is latent heat that means a hidden heat what is the function of this heat this heat does not rise the temperature of the substance see melting point of ice is 0 degree celsius boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius so when the water when we when you are heating the liquid when you are heating the water at 100 degree it changes into vapor right so if i say that when we are heating it why the temperature of liquid does not rise the question comes to our mind listen to it carefully we are taking a sample of water and we are heating it but that heat is not actually raising the temperature of the liquid it is just converting the liquid into gas so the question comes why temperature does not rise when we heat a liquid or when we heat a solid because that heat is being utilized in converting the state how by increasing the force of attraction or decreasing the space or vice versa if you take a vice versa example that is decreasing the space and increasing the force so that means that energy is utilized somehow in changing the state that is solid to liquid liquid to gas yeah, opposite manner but it is not rising the temperature of the sample so always keep in mind the temperature which you are supplying or the cooling of the energy which you are withdrawing is called as latent heat that heat is not lowering the temperature of the sample it is not increasing the temperature of the sample it is just uh, converting the state by uh, by affecting the force and the space of the particles of the uh, the state which we are considering